We have a, uh, we got, and I don't want to say, but from somebody, a listener, who uh, works for Warner Brothers, who got us a picture from the new Batman. This is an exclusive. And Gail, you can go over to our Instagram and check this out, the Bennington oh, SXM. Wow. This is the new Joker. And I'm thinking to myself, how does it, who would take their kids to see the Batman now? The first Joker, oh. Cesar Romero. It was a, No kids were uh, afraid in the 1960s, Cesar Romero. They were like, oh, he's the Joker. Jack Nicholson, okay, a little scarier, but the yeah. kids could still enjoy it. Heath Ledger was fucking, you know, that, that was scary as shit, I would think, for a little kid. Sure. And the this next is, one that they yeah. they did, I think it was Jake Gyllenhaal or it was one of those fucking people. He's just that, that Joker movie. He was scary as fuck. This Joker, forget about it. I don't think I could sit through this movie. No, this is horrifying. I mean, this this is by far the scariest Joker, maybe even the scariest thing I've ever seen. That is true. I would put it up there with the scariest thing <laughs> that any human being has ever witnessed before. To me, this looks like if COVID-19 had a logo, it would be <laughs> this Joker. Because the, the, the big smile looks like it's been done in blood. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does look like dribbling blood from the mouth. And the hair is more disturbing even than it usually is. Yeah. The hair is this filthy kind of seaweed, stringy, greasy seaweed. Uh, and then, and this, believe me, I've even seen the comic books before. There's never been a hideous white beard like that, like the white beard of death. Um, I mean, clown makeup always scary, but even the face makeup on this is so scary. It's just so, it's such a, a sickly shade of pale. Gail, that is not makeup. That is just somebody <laughs> with tombstone skin that is, oh, and the smile, it's the smile of a predator that's going to drag a child out of its bedroom yeah. screaming. That's a murder of children, for sure. Dead eyes, too. Dead like eyes. A like eyes. a doll's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this Life is the worst fucking thing i've ever seen in my life and you know in this in this uh uncertain times that we're living in you know we need to be uplifted we don't need more terrors like this i'm going to be thinking about this tonight i am going to get a mask and write up some kind of a uh, sign and walk in front of uh, i guess netflix i don't think it'll be going to the theaters so i'm just going to be um just carrying a sign that says this Joker's not funny or the joke is on us or haven't we suffered enough? <laughs> this oh is God. horrible. Horrible. What are they thinking? They're not thinking. The fucking COVID mm -hmm. is in everybody's brains today. I know. You know what I mean? Nobody's thinking right. Mm-mm. Well, obviously, they're going to send a cease and desist to us, so you want to get over and check this out as fast as you can. Uh, I can always slow it down. The cease and desist come in by email the first day, and then you just write back, huh? Or I think you have the wrong address. <laughs> then eventually, you know, they send a letter, but that's harder to do these days. And then finally, the cops show up with guns and just shoot anybody until they take it down. God, that is fucking frightening. Yeah. Like ice water through my veins when I saw that. I know. I'm going to make sure that I don't leave my phone open on this when Juju comes in. Oh, my God, really if Juju sees that. First of all, she had a meltdown today because a mouse lost a hat in a cartoon. Yeah, she was pretty upset about it. Um, to be honest, she was a lot more upset about it than the mouse was. 
The mouse seemed to just think it was, uh, you know, an everyday occurrence. Like, oops, my hat blew off. But she was like, this is devastating. Her grandfather loses his hat all the time and he's not even leaving his fucking house. So <laughs> let's not make a big deal out of it. Oh, God, I keep going back to this picture. Um, it's up to the Instagram. And, you know, Gail's come up with a good point. If you have children in the room, don't bring this up. Um, lock them into a closet and throw a fucking rabbit cat in there. Before That would be <laughs> less stressful for them. If there was a wild, fer, uh, feral rabbit cat scratching at them in a dark closet. <laughs> That's, this this is, is the kind disgusting. of thing that later when you're an adult and in therapy, you're like, I don't know why, but I was never able to forget this thing. And I'm not sure what this trigger is. Like, this is something that's yeah. going to stay with a child. Sure. I would say this. It would be better for a child to be physically and even sexually abused than to look <laughs> at this picture. I think they would be able because therapists would know how to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? A therapist would be right. able to sit down and go, oh, I've had patients that have had this. Let me talk right. you through some shit. But That's why it's I think COVID. That, like, yeah. You know, like this is a novel fear, not a novel yes. coronavirus. I think if you showed this to a therapist, they probably would start crying. You know what I mean? They probably would say to themselves... I don't know what to do. And again, this is the very interesting thing because Vito, you're a cartoon boy, right? You go to the cartoon movies. Yeah. Um, now, Marvel beats the hell out of Warner Brothers in everything except for they've never matched the scariness and the creativity of the Joker. The Joker is by far not only the best villain, but the only fucking villain that matters. A hundred percent. He's, I don't think Marvel even has a vil Like Thanos is just like the movies really. Like you, you didn't really hear about Thanos for the last 30 years other than these movies. Nobody compares to the Joker. No. And it's, a, and no I is also, I know that he did a lot of devastation. I didn't see the movie, but I understand he did a widespread devastation but i don't see people like picking apart the character itself yeah right. like what drives him why is he like this the way that people do with the joker the problem with the joker and i don't mean it's a problem it's actually an asset but that he enjoys his evil so much and you could see that in this new joker that is going to make you forget about joaquin phoenix he's going to make you forget about uh, heath ledger He's going to make you forget about Jack Nicholson. This is the scariest fucking Joker ever. So scary that I would recommend not only the children not see this movie, but no adult should see this movie. God, this is the worst. And from what I understand, the person who plays this character has been locked up in a place where the criminally insane himself, which I now feel like there's no way that the movie company should have even promoted this. You know what I mean? They no. should be sued. Right. It seems like an insurance issue. It, it seems like you're putting you're you're putting the rest of your cast and crew really at risk. <clears throat> Why didn't they just put makeup on a murder wasp and fucking say, "Here, kids." <laughs> Let this sting you. Let this fucking sting you during the movie. I think I would rather watch a movie packed with murder wasp than to look at this Joker. I had this weird feeling about murder wasps yesterday that I was like, yeah, I heard about them, but like, are they even coming? And I was like, keep your mouth shut. That's exactly what coronavirus was like. Here. That's exactly right. Like, yeah, I heard and about it. I guess somebody has them, but I don't. Look. You're going to have a person like me going, stop worrying about murder wasp, okay? <laughs> it's fucking 2020. We take care of this shit while it's still in a third world country. That's what we do. 
<laughs> and then I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm seeing a lot more murder wasps than I used to. It's getting weird around here. Ugh. I don't like them, by the way. I'm taking a hard stance against murder wasps. I'm taking a hard stance against this fucking joker. You should. One in the same, really. I'm reading some of the things up on Instagram, and Secret said this. My eyes just vomited. <laughs> Is that fucking horrifying? And I, I believe him. <laughs> this is so disturbing. All right, Gary just said Heath Ledger wouldn't even be this scary if he climbed out of a coffin in this makeup. Ugh. That's not right. This is the <laughs> filthiest thing that ever happened. What's in his hair? Evil? Did That's he dye so his hair with evil? Mm-hmm. Ah, the expression. I guess that's it. Like the way he's looking through his stringy strands. Yes. Green stringy strands. A fucking hideous white beard covered in a smile blood and with that tombstone <laughs> skin. <laughs> See, because I feel like now you've, if you, if you, this is your Joker, you've moved out of the realm of comic book movie or action. Now this is horror. That's just a horror movie. It's horror. This is yeah. pure horror. How's this any different horror. than the Saw? Any of those Saws? I didn't see them, but there's zero difference. You zero. didn't see Saw? <laughs> no. Even when I was a little kid, I thought that was scary. <laughs> One time I, when I was in uh, kindergarten, I remember doing this. Uh, I'm on the seesaw. They're like, get on the seesaw with this other kid. As soon as I went up to the top, I jumped off. I jumped off at the very height of a fucking seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck this. Dangerous. That's crazy. I'm out. I don't know. I saw other people doing it. So you think I would have... Uh, Said to myself, okay, that's the game, you know? Kind of embarrassed about it still, all these years later, all these decades later. <laughs> oh, I just was stupid enough to look at that again. I know. You know what it, it keeps happening? I, I look at it on my phone. I put my phone down because it disturbs me too much. And then I pick up my phone to check my phone and it's still there. I'm going to flush my, my phone down the toilet. It's the only way I can get rid of this thing. Oh, but I just thought of something. What would you do if you turned it... around? <laughs> <laughs> was, was We're right like doing the same thing. <laughs> Here's what I'm worried about. Must be I true. fucking flush it down the toilet and then it becomes giant in the sewers and starts to fucking crawl out and eat kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is somebody wrote, is it scarier than it? What's a million times yes? That's, yeah. that's how much scarier it is than it. It yeah, looks previously like shit. <laughs> and shit too, which I didn't see. Yeah. I didn't see it either, <laughs> but I know it was scary. Yeah. I saw shit and I haven't wanted to go back for shit too. Too scared. Mm -mm. But that's why I won't see this. I will not. Because this clown is scarier than that clown. And even that um, uh, American Horror Story clown that was like missing a lower jaw. Ugh. This one's scarier oh. than that. Yeah, it's scarier than anything I've ever seen. I might, if I saw this movie, I might just start stabbing myself in the neck. <laughs> it's the only way out. Do you find it oh. scarier to watch a movie in a movie, a scary movie in a movie theater, or scary to watch, scarier to watch a movie? in your home alone at night. Fascinating. This has never come up before. Oh, it's very rare for me to see a horror movie in a theater, but because people scream in the theater, yeah. I'm going to say that's scarier. Yes. 
it is scary to hear people scream because then you feel that and then you also feel like you can't tap out like i feel trapped like i'm stuck with it but then i do also hate watching something alone in the house and then you're like why the fuck would i do this at night this is so stupid this seems like something someone in a horror movie would do i've never seen a movie as scary as this picture though <laughs> I wouldn't want to see it at home or in the movie theater. All right. Let me just ask you this. Let's suppose you're at the movie. You're watching this fucking the Batman. This Joker mm -hmm. comes out. You're so fucking scared looking at him. And then you look to either side of you. And sitting in the next seat are the flying monkeys from the Wizard of no. Oz. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd probably run into their arms compared to that, to that Joker, though. Save me, flying monkeys. Just holding on to the flying monkeys. <laughs> oh, God, this picture. I bet I bet anybody who looks at this picture has a 50% chance of committing suicide tonight. <laughs> those, those are really high. All right. What if you're like, you're at the movie. You're watching this fucking scary ass shit, right? You're watching the scary Joker that we have up on the Bennington SXM. Your phone rings. It's, you're like, oh, oh, it's my phone. You answer it. Hello. You're trying to answer real quiet. You just hear, hello, Sydney. Ah! Hello, Sydney. There's a murder wasp underneath <laughs> your chair. No. I hate those murder was. I've never been afraid as much as I am right now. This is the most scared mm -hmm. I've ever been in my life. And I'm living in a fucking quarantine in a death city. The only comfort I have right now is that I'm looking out and it's daylight. Like if I saw this, if I saw this post and I saw this photo of this Joker at night, I wouldn't be able to sleep for sure. Yeah, you're right about that. I wish I had an eye spec right now so I could fucking just <laughs> dig both my eyeballs out. <laughs> I'm going to order one on Amazon. I hope it gets here in five minutes. I'm going to force people to look at this now that I've had to. I'm going to be like the guy in, in Bird Box who just holds people's eyes open. <laughs> I didn't see it, but that sounds like right. <laughs> You got to see it. It's so bad. <laughs> You're going to have a terrible I'm call time a, watching it. I'm going to call a judge and say that Paul Manafort should have the, these <laughs> things, his phones taped to his eyes so that he's just constantly looking at double fucking murder wasp joker. <sighs> Come on. This, this is America. We can't have cruel and unusual punishment like that. He's still a man. Here's what I wonder about. What kind of a sick fuck would even take on this role? What kind of a sick fuck yeah. would look at himself and say, that's it. That's where I was going with this bit. <laughs> I mean, I the only thing I can think of is it's not a role to him. You know what I mean? This is him. What if this thing like wandered into your fucking house while you were doing asset like once upon a time in Hollywood? Oh, come on. This is, that's too much. See, that, I'm going to be thinking about that tonight. I know I will. I know my brain. Me? Yeah. Here's my problem. I just smoked a cigarette dipped in ass before we started the show. I thought I'd have a nice <laughs> trippy show today. And then this shit pops up. <laughs> the and now I got a this. deal. I know. Because I thought this was going to be a nice, fun, gentle day. I guess you're just going to have to ride the snake, you know? It's all you can ever do, bro. It's your brain, man. It's your brain. Like we were told the other day, switch to another station in your mind. You know what I mean? Change to another radio station in your mind. This is the fear station. I don't know whether we've ever mentioned this on the air, but Gail was like a little kid 
when the first Batman came out. And people forget this. There was so much hype on that Batman that the T-shirt with just the logo had come out like a full year before. So wherever you would go, kids would be wearing the Batman T-shirt. And for some reason, and Gail was, I don't know, not much bigger than Juju. Yeah, I must be like three or four, right? Somewhere in there, maybe three or four. All I remember is that you were like so, such a weird kid. And that you were like, I'm going to dress up like the Joker for this. And you went to the movie dressed as the Joker. <laughs> yep. Um, and that was also after, you know, I had, I, I think at that point I had just seen the trailer and I was obsessed with it. And yeah. I had gotten into my mom's makeup and just done Joker face to myself. And then I came out while you guys were all watching TV and I said, wait, did they thick a low to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. What if you came out like this fucking Joker and I just no. took a shovel and started smashing you? I wouldn't blame telling you. The, telling your mom to run. No, no jury would convict. No, no jury. That's self-defense. Yeah. Also, it's Florida, so juries don't convict there. You know, True. They're okay with kid killers in Florida, as you know, from yeah. the Top Mom or whatever she, or her name was. Mm-hmm. Top Mom. It's a stupid name. I, I saw what she was mom's up to. Um, she's looking to adopt. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't Tot Mom in this fucking scary ass bearded Joker thing. Yeah. Oh God. The fucking horror. The horror. The beard really, I think, is is pushes it over the edge. A bearded Joker. I, I mean, who would even think of that concept? It's so much more disturbing. No, you'd have to be a psychopath to even think that this would be a good idea. But is your dog going crazy, Gail? No, that's the dog outside. Birdie would never behave so poorly. Adam wrote this, Juju with a Sharpie couldn't even draw something this horrifying. <laughs> I did probably have a similar reaction coming out and seeing my living room covered in Sharpie. Uh. <sighs> Terrible. Uh, Vito, uh, I don't know whether you saw this, Gail. Vito put something up on his Instagram that I forced him to um, send to us. And this is a picture, uh, and some stories. This is a, pic a picture of Vito when he was a little kid. And uh, um, you said that you were constantly asked if you were this kid, Vito. I, I was, and who was it? I was constantly asked if I was the fat Italian kid from School of Rock. And he also played Bobby Bacala Jr. on The Sopranos. And I would get both of them. People would legitimately come up to me and my mom and ask if I was in School of Rock. Was that like uh, an arrow piercing through your heart every single time? Yeah, uh, it was It was terrible. And like, the, I think the worst one was one person came up to me at, the, the, at school. Like somebody that I went to school with came up to me and asked me if I was that person. Principal. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just weird. Like having a stranger walk up with their kid and um, having them ask, were you in School of Rock? Like the first time it was funny, but by the third or fourth time, I, I just, it was terrible. Well, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, first of all, I don't think anyone should ever be in a position where they ask someone if they are someone from something. It just doesn't. It doesn't work out. And if you're wrong, no one ever likes it. Nobody yeah. wants to hear. Nobody wants to hear that they look like anyone ever. It's a bad feeling. 
People keep thinking I look like Jughead on the new Riverdale, you know, which I'm thinking is a compliment. <laughs> do you like that? that? Yeah, he's a sex symbol. What can I do? They're well, like, this is why Jughead? I, I never like it. <laughs> this is why I never like it. Either the person they say, you're just like, oh, that person is hideous to me and I don't want to be compared to that person. Or the opposite, you're saying I'm either an uglier fatter or older version of the person you just said like they're like you look like them but a little different and you're like i know what that means Ugh. fucking frightening I, can, I went back and looked at the picture i'm sorry why do it to yourself what if someone told you you look like the new joker Ugh. i would fucking <laughs> literally i would get a court of murder wasp and I would swallow them all. <laughs> yeah, just seems yeah like even if really they compared you to suicide. even if they compared you to somebody who was better looking than you, you'd be like, Jesus. I feel like I'm being mocked right now. I know, yeah. I never like it. Also, I was at a party once where a guy told a girl that she looks like young sissy spacek and she started crying and you know to me that wouldn't be a mean thing to say i would be like the sissy spacek is beautiful she was absolutely in tears and the guy was like yeah. i'm sorry I, th I thought it was nice and she was like never do that never say something like that to someone is it because she had red hair I'm sure, I mean, like, she also facially kind of looked like her. I mean, it well, wasn't untrue. Every, everybody with red hair looks the same. So what happens when you have red hair? You're just being told you look like everybody else who has red hair. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's like if you said to a special needs person, hey, I know somebody you look exactly like. Corky. Yeah. You look like that kid Corky on TV. Nobody wants to hear that, even though that kid was amazing. Loved Corky. And had a rock band. He had a rock band for a while. Did he? Yeah. He was touring with it. Some of the people who showed up to see the show were not the nicest people you've ever mm. seen in your life. That's not nice. What are you going to do? I just hear Juju at the door going, no, mama, no, <laughs> like, no, we don't close this door. We yeah. know the rule, mom. Why do you let her get all upset? Why don't you just keep the door wide open so she can come and go as she please? Because there's a lot of uh, additional noise you'd be hearing. All right. Aaron Snyder might have put the only thing on here that I really agree with. He wrote, there is no God. It's bleak, and yet it really speaks to the way I feel. I've never seen the Joker that thick before. Or, like, look at the white part of his eyes. They're the same tombstone color as the dead skin. Oh, yes. That's really the, the part that freaks me out. Something about like and then, the gray hue of it. <laughs> and look at the um, like the small puddle of bat shit that is at the bottom of the eye there. You know what I mean? No. What is what is that word for bat shit? It got used in the guano. Jim Carrey movie. That's guano. <laughs> As if I know it from <laughs> I know it from Ace Ventura, but I also know it because it's what you call penguin shit. And it comes up quite a bit in some of the documentaries I've watched. I didn't know that. Don't let her see. I know. I put my phone down right away because I don't want her to see Good. It. I'd rather but you change you your phone. Scream. To, yeah. <laughs> change your phone to porn would be an easier thing for a toddler to see. Oh, yeah. I'd much rather. Put on a, um, Fat Baby Bacala Vito's picture. <laughs> oh, she'll love that. She'll go Vito. Oh, she likes or Vito. Beto. She? <laughs> she says Vito. Yeah. yeah, it's because he beats off. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
I think that's why she's she right. says it. Kids can, kids can be so mean, but they're normally dead on. Out of the mouths of babes. What's it, what do you mean? Mm, babes say things <laughs> truthfully. Oh, I mean, we but all I mean say hot stuff girls, not mouths. little babies. <laughs> oh yeah. How many? Uh, how long you take before you call back your beautiful babies? <laughs> All right, this could be a good catchphrase. Uh, 82 a a uh, C B said this. Joker, the new weird. <laughs> That's good. That's really strong. I normally go to see every Batman movie with Kathleen from the Bronx. I don't think I'm going to do it this time. No, don't put yourself through that. No, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Is that from the movie? Yeah. Not in that.